Chrysler programming requires two steps. You go to techauthority.com and download the update onto your computer, and then you connect to the vehicle and download it from your computer into the vehicle's module. So to get started, you go to techauthority.com and enter that into the web browser and click enter, and it takes you to the Tech Authority page. Up there in the left-hand corner, it says Tech Authority Online. Go ahead and click on that, and it's asking you to log in. That means if you have a up-to-date subscription, all you have to do is log in. So you type in your email and your password in there, and then click Log In. Of course, it takes you to a new page, and over here it says Tech Authority Online. You can see that our subscription is up to date, so all we have to do is click on Tech Authority Online. Now, if you're not up to date, you're going to have to go back and resubscribe. So we're going to click here, and once again, it wants us to type in our email and password and then click Log In. And here we are on another Tech Authority page. About a third of the way down, you can see the blue tabs. They start with TSB slash recall. Follow that line all the way over to here where it says flash and click on that. Now they're giving you options of how to get this update. You can do it through the VIN, year and model and engine, part number, and that's the way we like to do it. And if you're directed to get an update for a PCM or a module because of a TSB or a recall, you can type that number in there. We type in our part number here, and then we're going to scroll down the page to find submit there and click on submit. Well, when we did that, it says that your part number is not a valid part number. So we clicked on OK there. We went back to the part number, up the page a little bit, retyped it in, make sure we did the correct numbers and letters right now, scroll down, and then hit submit. And la la, it's selected at this time. We did it right this time. So we left that mistake in there to show you that it's not the end of the world. It just wants you to type it in correctly. In the right-hand side there, it says instructions. Select a new part number and click on the download button to download the flash file. Well, as you can see down there a little way where it says flash part list, we only have one to select anyway, so we don't have to make a choice here. But whatever you're trying to accomplish in this updating, whether you're sent here by a technical service bulletin, a recall, or something in Chrysler Diagnostics, you got to make sure that you select the correct update. And we only have one to select from here. Now, number two in the instructions said these files are going to be downloaded to C colon backslash DCX2534. Now, that's pretty important to remember that because that's where this is going to be downloaded to inside your computer on your hard drive under DCX2534. Now, it says in number three, double-click the DCX2534 icon on the desktop. Now, it's not telling us that it's going to give us an icon on the desktop, but apparently it does, and I'll tell you because we've done this, yes it does. Now I know it doesn't tell you that, but it's going to be there because that's how we're going to get it into the vehicle. So we move our mouse over here to the available flashes, and we click that one, and then we hit download, and it's a good idea to remember where it's downloading it at. It's going to be under that hard drive, DCX2534, and if you ever have to go find it again, at least you'll know where it's at. Now, when, you, when you're done there, you go ahead and click in that white box there, and it'll give you a warning. Microsoft gives you a warning. Do you really want to trust this uh, unknown company? Well, you're here on Chrysler's website, and you're trying to get the update, so yes, you're going to click uh, yes, and then you can see down at the bottom, it says files downloaded successfully. So we're done here. So we want to close this window, go up to the red X and click, and we're back to this one, this page here. Go to the red X, click, and we are back to your desktop now. When you look at your desktop up there on the top of the screen, you can see the two Chrysler icons. The first one that we see is the DCX2534 setup. This is the one that we downloaded earlier so we can have an icon on our desktop. This is the program that we need all the drivers to go to the authority 
the Tech Authority website and get their updates and use a pass-through device. Now, this is the one we just got. We went and got here. This is the DCX2534 update. So when we double-click that, as in the instructions, we're going to get this window here, the Update Manager window. Now, this pops up first. The first thing you have to do is go down here to Select Pass-Through Device and click on that. And you can see that we only have one to choose from because that's the only one we have connected to the vehicle. So we're going to click on the Drew Technology Cardac Plus there. And that's because that's ours, whatever your name of your pass-through device is. You'll click on that. And then you want to click OK. Now, look just to the left there, and it gives you that FMS 008 version 1.1C. So we're already starting to do something. Now it gives us an instruction box. It says turn key to off position. Turn the ignition off and then you're going to want to click OK. It's going to have you do this several times. I'll explain why in just a second. So click off and then it continues to work and download the program and now it wants you to uh, turn the key to the run position. Turn it on and then click OK and now you can see that our new part number has appeared in the window there to the left. And then it wants you to turn it off again. Go ahead and click OK. And it's continuing to work. It wants you to turn it on. Click OK. And now it's telling you that step one of eight steps has already been completed. When you're turning the ignition switch on and off, when you're cycling that ignition switch for this download, the computer, in this case, on this vehicle, the front control module is querying the PCM, and on the vehicle we're on, it's querying the, the uh, passenger compartment node, uh, and it's looking and making sure that it has a complete matching set of VIN numbers. It's going to change, this download is going to change a uh, something inside the PCM. This is the the one we've double clicked on our icon connected to the vehicle and we're trying to download it into the PCM right now so it having you cycle the key on and off allowing the modules to wake up so they can be queried and the download can be completed successfully so then step two three four well nope not four 3.1, 3.2, and then 4, and then 5 of 8, and it's continuing to do these steps until it gets to the blue box starts filling up. You can see that? Now, the, when the blue box is completely filled up, it's telling you that the reprogramming completed successfully uh, is, is great. It, we're done. We've actually taken a download from our computer and put it into the PCM but we're not done yet so pay attention to the warnings as they come up now it wants you to cycle that ignition on and off again turn it off okay and then it wants you to turn it on and click okay and then it wants you to turn it off and click okay turn it on and click okay and now it's telling us that this part number verification was successful and that's important because just as the front control module was querying the other modules to get all the old information when you were cycling the key on and off this time it's querying and giving them the new information and it's saying that that part number verification was successful well you know what you're done you've updated this Chrysler PCM so you're gonna click exit and it's gonna take you right back to your desktop and at that point you're done you're finished